Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Attack of the Beat Team. I'm here with Team Canada, Pause and Pause, Vintage Beef, and Etho. Unfortunately, they uh, they said they're not gonna talk. So uh, yeah, they're just statues. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I have a really exciting episode for you today. It's gonna be a witchin. <laughs> Good time. I got puns. I got jokes. But to get started, you know what's coming up. We're going to head to the Hall of Cosmonauts and set up two brand new members of the Hall of Cosmonauts. So let's head on over there and I'll meet you up in the Hall of Cosmonauts. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're here in the Hall of Cosmonauts, and I would like to thank everybody who's responded. Now, I'm only going to do one or two per episode. We're going to do two more this episode, but if you have not left a comment uh, asking, Hey, Space, I want to be in the Hall of Cosmonauts, just go ahead and drop that comment and leave your in-game name so I can make a statue of you to put in the Hall. Um, for the, today's two are... In the book here, we already got Blue Clan and Dirt Man. Up next is Mr. Billy Bob, a really good friend of the channel. Let's go ahead and make his um, statue. And let me just take another look here at the book and quill. Yeah, it's just underscores. Perfect. So we got Mr. Billy Bob. There it is. Sculpt and let's give you a paint job There's mr. Billy Bob. Thank you so much for um, Watching my videos and being an awesome person. So I decided to start putting the YouTube names above the in-game statue uh, Just in case they're different Just so we could identify and know who's who when we're leaving comments and stuff like that so up here we'll put mr. Billy Bob all right, and let's check the next person is Hafiz uh, the Killer. Hafiz, Hafiz the Killer, and the in-game name is Xanthus Seventeen. All right, let's do it. So it's uh, capital X T H U S Seventeen. There it is. Sculpt it. Paint job it, and we're done. Uh, let me see how we spell the YouTube name. H A F I Z H. Perfect. H A F I Z H. The killer. Don't kill me, bro. I think I spelled it wrong. I think it's killer. No, the killer. Perfect. Got it. I got Jack Dognose. Thanks for leaving your in-game name. I'll get you as soon as possible. You'll be up next. And Dempsey the Block. Um, so there is the Hall of Cosmonauts as we have so far. Uh, we have Pro Beast, the first member, Blue Clan, Dirt Man, and Mr. Billy Bob, and have Fizz the Killer. Speaking of Dirt Man, let's head back to the surface. Now you guys remember I picked up a donkey last episode and I asked for any if you guys had any ideas for what we could name our new friend the donkey holy moly you know what that was from take a look here I looked at my crystal ball and it says I will chance upon the undead that's from the witchery mod so that's so funny that speaking of the witchery mod we got zombies spawning all over us but going back um, now, Dirtman had a suggestion for the name that goes really well with his skin because uh, he's Batman, has a Batman skin, and he recommended that we name the donkey. Instead of, you know, how Batman rides around in the Batmobile, <laughs> he suggested we name him the Bat Key. So, Robin, let's get to the Bat Key. Instead of Donkey, the Bat Key. It's funny. So I went ahead and named him. We have the back key here. Meanwhile, in the back key. <laughs> so we got back key and Elmer. 
thank you guys for the suggestions. Really good ideas you guys had. I really appreciate it. I really do enjoy, um, you know, all you guys leaving comments. I reply to all of them, and I read all of your messages, and try to reply to everything I can. Uh, pretty much everything. I don't think I've missed anything uh, yet. But today, today, we talking witchy, baby. We going witchy, and we're going to talk about the witch armor. Because right now, I have pretty much the best armor that technology can make. But we're going above technology. We're going to... What the heck is wrong with your face, B-dubs? <laughs> we're not talking technology, baby. We talking... Magic. Specifically, witchery. So, that... Um, that fortune came true for us here that will chance upon the undead. So let's look together to see what our next fortune will be. Collect a cache of coal. All right. I've been trying to do the fortune as much as possible because if you remember a couple episodes back, we had the crone come up, but we never got to fight her. It changed for some reason. So I'm trying to get the crone so I could get that on camera for you guys in a episode as soon as it comes up it's a really rare spawn so i'm gonna keep my eye out for it but to get started let's take a look at look at me i was hungry so i'm thinking mm, bacon that's what i had on my brain <laughs> let's reset any eye let's look up witchery so so far in the witchery armor department i have made the witch's hat and the witch's robes um so I want to advance beyond that and let's take a look together the different items that they have. So let's see, we have this stuff, that's not armor, oven, nope, 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 statue of the goddess is not it, uh, there's some scarecrows, oh I want to make a Trent effigy as well, that seems pretty easy, we need two tormented twine, we'll do that later on in the episode. Statue of Broken Curses, okay. Arthana, nope, that's not it. Should be around here somewhere. Uh, impregnated leather, I know we use that. Tree fed seed, nope. Uh, next page. Oh, I see some necromancer wards keeps the undead at bay. Undead will ignore the wearer. Okay, that's... We don't really need that. Uh-huh. Actually, that'd be pretty cool. Because... The creepers already ignore us with our genetic mind. If creepers and then skeletons and zombies ignore us, we don't have to worry about spiders ever. That'd be pretty cool. So, we might make that too. But that's not what I wanted to make today. Uh, witch's hat we made already. Up here... Icy slippers freezes nearby water and turns lava into obsidian, but that damages the shoes. That one's pretty cool, but we could fly, so we don't need to worry about that. Biting belt, that's bark belt. Okay, so grow bark pieces when standing on grass or mycelium, and bark mitigates hits. All right, so we're gonna need a biting belt. Okay. So we gotta make some impregnated leather parasitic louse. How we make a parasitic louse? Maleficus, Malefic, Malefic hunger. All right, I think I have Maleficus hunger. We get that by killing a nightmare. Mm-hmm. Right here, biting belt. We're gonna need to make some gold in the thread. I think we do that with four. Uh, let's see. Oh, with the hay bale. That's easy enough. Do we have any? <laughs> we do! We have two golden thread. Perfect. Okay, so let's keep working on this together. So we got... Let's just make it here. Pretend. Pretend it's, this is a crafting table. So we got that, that. We need four impregnated leather and a parasitic louse. So, Diamond Vapor, four whiffs of magic. Alright, let's see if we have any left. 
We have one piece. And we're going to need how many? Five. That's perfect. Do we... All right, let's head back home. Grab some leather. Here we go. Where you at, leather? There it is. All right, and do we have any hay? I know it's for horses, but we might as well keep some upstairs. Um, I know I have some in my little kitchen area. There we go. Let's just make all this into hay. And we got seven. There's 11, perfect. Put that back and let's head back up to the witchy tower. And I haven't really done a crafty episode like this with you guys. Let me know what you think if you enjoy this. So we need some whiffs of magic. Oh, we have a lot. And some diamond vapor. All right, perfect. Let's make some impregnated leather. Where are you? Oh, it'll show me here. Okay, so we have five of that. Let's get all this back, please. Thank you. And now we have to make a parasitic louse. Now, let's take a look at... I'm on my second monitor right now, taking a look at the... Uh, the witchery mod wiki, which is really great. Citic. So, it's a really great... Um, Let's search for Laos. <laughs> I'm getting all distracted here talking. So it's a really great resource for you. Uh, to learn how to do all the different things here. So basically hybrid plant and silverfish that will uh, move and try to bite on it. So what we need to do is get a critter snare with a silverfish in it. All right, we could do that pretty easily. Uh, where are my critter snares at? I know I have critter snares. Don't even act like I don't. No. All right, so we're going to make some critter snares then. So how we make that? It's created by placing a spider web over still water and getting a zombie there. Uh, and surrounding by alder saplings and then use that mutating spike. All right, so we need Four alder saplings uh, We need a cobweb, I believe they're here Yep, let's actually put that back and take this one and we're gonna need a zomber and it's about to turn daytime Don't tell me that All right, we could grab one from our spawner down here Come here, Zomber. Let's grab a a Pokeball for the Zomber. And I'll get everything together and I'll come back in just a mo to show you how it's done, all right? All right, guys, so we're gonna make a Critter Snare. The first thing you wanna do is place down a cobweb and grab a bucket of water. Place that underneath the cobweb. Very simple. All right. And then on four sides of the cobweb, we're going to want to put alder saplings. There we go. So you have four alder saplings. Very simple. Then we need the magic ingredient, which is a zomber. Just put that guy in the cobweb. And he's there all sad about his life. And hit him with the mutating sprig. Why? No, Zomber! Okay. It says use the mutating sprig on... Let's try something else. Fail boat. I mean, the picture has it a little bit different. Maybe I have to do it exactly like the picture says. Grab some more dirt. Alright, this is how the picture has it. Let's 
put the Zombert back in the cobweb. And, yep, he's out of fire now. Let's get the mutating sprig. Where did I put it? Where did I put you, sprig? I hit the cobweb. There it goes. Now we got the critter snares. Perfect. Now we're going to use the critter snares to catch some... Um, what are these guys called? The silverfish. So let's grab our shears. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you. And the best place to get critter fish is at the end portal, which I have a waypoint over to, so we should get there very quickly. Right over here. End portal. And I should have... No, I don't. Uh-oh, where am I going to get silverfish now? Yeesh! I'm going to have to find the other stronghold in this world. Well, <clears throat> there is an open blocks item called the Golden Eye that will help you get the um, other stronghold. But I think I'm going to use the just the regular Eyes of Ender. So, I'm going to go find me a silverfish spawner and I'll be right back okay guys i found the other nether portal or end portal so we're gonna want to mark this on our maps here uh, i think we just right click and we'll put other and portal there we go and just hit enter 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 sir and all we got to do now is pop our critter snare down let this guy get trapped in there come on buddy He's trapped. And heading back home. Let's take a look. What do we need here? So for a parasitic louse, we got a this is a little bit more complicated now. But it's the same concept kind of idea as the um getting the critter snares. Perfect. So let's head up to the surface and go back to the same area where we did the critter snares now it's kind of like the opposite now so instead of the water being under here we need water blocks on these four spots and we need all right we'll just use this real quick Um, okay, so we'll need water blocks on these four spots. Let's get that going. One, two, three, and four. And then in the center here, we need our critter snare with our silver fish. Okay. And then we're going to need four grasper plants here, okay? What? What was that noise? And I do have these grasper plants. I know that for a fact. We saw them. We have them. Alright, so in these grasper plants. Oh, we need four lily pads as well. Jeez, this thing is involved. So four lily pads above the water. Mm-hmm. And then place a grasper plants on the diagonal corners. <clears throat> of the creator to center place a charged a tombstone in one of the graspers tongue and dog in the other mutandus in the other two okay so let's grab a tongue of dog uh two mutandus and we have a tombstone we need to charge it so how do we charge in a tombstone let's consult our circle magic book there it is so we need glowstone, redstone, wood ash, quick lime. Um, here is wood ash and quick lime. And glowstone and redstone should be in here. Glowstone and redstone. Toss all this stuff in here. Let's charge up first. Charge it up!
Beautiful. So we go back to our setup that we have right here. Kill this Mr. T guy. Good night. So let's grab our critter snares. Put one here. Here. Here and here. Not critter snares. Um, grasper plants. Now we got two mutandi. We need a charge. Or a tongue of dog. And... An attuned stone charged. So now we hit the critter snare with our mutating sprig, which I left in my house. Grab this guy. There he is. Still seven uses on it. Perfect. And we about to do some magic, baby. Do some work. So let's hit it. Hit it. Did I do this wrong? Yeah, I did it wrong. <laughs> so, the mutandus needs to go on opposite corners. And we kill the spider. And then we hit it with the mutating sprig. <sighs> Tongue of dog. Ah, we forgot the friggin... Lily pads. Details, details. You guys, can you please? I'm trying to do witchcraft. Now we hit it. Parasitic louse. Um, oh no. It's a, a live thing. I think. Where is it? There it is. Oh, okay, you can pick them up. I'm wondering. Now, let's try. Um, let's grab, I know you're thinking what I'm thinking. Let's grab a safari net, see if we could put them in the auto spawner and just get more instead of going through this hassle, right? Nope, not going to let us. Let's try with, uh, launcher. Capture mode. We got to get away from it. Um, where are you? Oh, no, I don't want to lose you. Please. I hear you. There you are. Okay, you give me a heart attack. Woo, we got it. Parasitic Klaus. Yes. We're going to make a whole bunch of these, baby. So, use a launcher, grab a Parasitic Klaus, and throw him in an auto spawner. And we good to go, baby, baby. Turn off the grinder. Put this guy in here. Uh, I'm going to set exact copy. No. And let's see what happens. Hope we don't get silverfish. What do we got? What do we got? Yes! Parasitic lice! <laughs> Who knew I'd be so happy about getting lice, huh, guys? Uh, so let's get... I don't know. Six, seven... Should be good. Turn off this auto spawner. Got a whole bunch. Perfect. Now let's head back to the witchy tower. And we can take the fast way. And I think we have all the ingredients we need to make the biting belt. So let me get everything together because everything's spread around here. And I'll be right back. All right, everybody ready to make a biting belt? Let's do it, baby. So let's go in here and we got the biting belt. Will that work? No. So we got parasitic louse goes here. You go there, 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 there. Golden thread and maleficious hunger. Biting belt, yeah. All right, now the bark belt. We're gonna need some brew of flowing spirit. So we can't make that just yet. We got the ant twigs, we got that. And creeper heart. So how do we make the brew of flowing spirit? Fanciful thread. Wispy cotton. Now, I know the brew of flowing spirit could only be made in the witchery in the dream realm. 
So we're going to have to get all this stuff set up in the dream realm before we can make that. So let's move on to the seeping shoes. Milk bucket, milk bucket, two witches' hands, redstone soup, impregnated leather, golden thread. So it's not too hard. Um, but what this does is removes poison effects when you're standing on the ground. So it's a pretty good thing to have. So I'm going to make the redstone soup in the kettle. Let's see if I have all the stuff. Do I have a drop of luck? Let's just do it a quick way. We could double click on the search window. It turns yellow. No, I don't have drop of luck. So let's search for drop of luck. How do we make you? Retire, find evil, which is diamond vapor and a gas tear. And it's diamond vapor. Do I have gas tears? I do. Right in here. So let's put that in our distillery. Gas tier. Diamond vapor. I'm going to let that distill. Now let's go back to witchery. And we're working now on our redstone soup. We have every other ingredient, right? Yes. So now we need two witches hand. We need more impregnated leather. Which isn't too hard to get. I think I have everything I need. Let's try. Can I make you impregnated leather? I can. Perfect. And then I'm going to need three buckets of milk. Uh, we have a cow here. Louis Gossett Jr. Which will help us out with that. He's down over here. Here's a cow. Hi, Lewis. And let's uh, grab two more buckets. Man, we are running out of space fast. All right, and back up to the Widgey Tower. And we'll be able to make some seeping shoes. Okay. Did that finish? Yeah, we got the refined evil. So let's grab a mutandus extremis, a water bottle. Here we go. Let's put away our buckets, or that one bucket, and fill up this bottle of water. And let's see. So that goes bottle water, mutandus extremis, and refined evil. And we got our drop of luck. So back to seeping shoes, uh, let's just do this. And we got our one, two, three buckets of milk, a uh, golden thread. Where are you? There it is. Our golden thread, two impregnated leather across the top. And two witch's hands. I got a whole bunch here. Okay, so now we need the redstone soup, which we need a drop of luck for. Wait, we need two drops of luck? No, we don't. Right, uh, so we need redstone, tongue of dog, belladonna, mandrake, wool of bat. We shall throw them into this bucket. White swirl marks are a good sign. Redstone soup. Pop this guy right in the middle here. Seeping shoes. So now, when we wear these, if we get poisoned, the poison gets automatically removed from us. So where can we go to get poisoned? Hmm. This'll do. We're getting poisoned like crazy. It comes right off. Look at that. And I think it puts like a... Like a bone meal effect on the ground. Oops, I broke the little house. I'm sorry. 
So that is pretty cool, guys. And that is going to do it for today's episode. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. And if you did enjoy the episode, go ahead and hit that like button for me. I would very much appreciate that. And I will see you guys next time. See you later, cosmonauts.